this is today's video is going to be all about this little bad boy right here. This is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. It's the five pan version. She has a bunch of different shades in this little five pan version palette. If you've never heard of Natasha Denona, it is known in the beauty world for being ridiculously good, but ridiculously expensive. She sells, I believe they're 28 pan palettes and they're like 240 bucks for one eyeshadow palette. And these little five pans are almost 50 bucks. So I was way too curious. I had to try one out to see if the quality lived up to the price tag. So I have a little review, demo, and swatches for you guys on this specific palette. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some timestamps in the description box. So if you don't wanna hear me talk and you just wanna see the swatches or the demo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you can go ahead and just skip ahead to any part of the video that you want to. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, then let's go ahead and get started. So all of her five pan palettes are numbered. This is the number four, but each shade in the palette has its own specific unique name, not just numbers. So this one is the number four and it retails for $48. $48 for five little eyeshadows. And when you think about it, you break it down, it's about 10 bucks an eyeshadow which isn't super terrible when you look at it that way. So since these palettes cost 48 bucks and there is a total of 0.44 ounces in each palette as a whole, that means that one single ounce would cost you $109.09. .09. So if you were gonna buy one ounce, one full ounce of product, it would cost you $109.09. .09 which seems a little bit ridiculous, but how often do you go through an entire ounce of eyeshadow? An ounce is a lot more in terms of eyeshadow than you might think it is. So as far as claims go for the Natasha Denona eyeshadows, they claim to be very buttery and soft, and they claim to blend together nicely. They claim that they are ultra pigmented and very long lasting. As far as packaging goes, could be better. It could be better. It's plastic. It's a little bit cheapy looking. Mine hasn't broken yet, so I mean that's a good thing, but to be honest, to be fair, I haven't really used this a whole lot. As much as you probably should be using an eyeshadow palette that would cost you this much money. It works. It's fine. It kind of goes to show you that what you're paying for is the actual product because this packaging could not have costed much. It's not very durable. It could be better, but it's not like it's falling apart. You have the sticker on the back that gives you the name of the palette, all of the names of the eyeshadows specifically, where they're made. They're made in Italy. It's not tested on animals and it supposedly has a six month shelf life, but but as long as something works and it doesn't smell rancid, I'm gonna keep using it. This is expensive. I'm not throwing this away after six months. You gotta be crazy. So as you can see, you get five shades. And in this palette, specifically the number four, you get one matte and four shimmers. So like I said, in this palette total, there's 0.44 ounces per shade. That's 0.08 ounces. And you can purchase this on Sephora.com, Beautylish, NatashaDenona.com, and it's also available on Beauty Bay, which I believe is just for the UK. So as far as the shade range goes, it's fine. I don't love it. I'm not really that much of a lover of warm tones. I know most people are, so this probably will be a popular palette among the majority of makeup lovers. I just prefer cool tones, which I think is why I don't reach for this as much as I probably should. And I also do wish that there was a another matte. I think I would trade in this red shade. I know. I think I would trade in this red shade for a lighter matte brown for the crease area. That's just me. That's just personal preference. But all in all, these are fantastic eyeshadows. The pigmentation is unbelievable. They do blend seamlessly. They're very soft and buttery. There is a ridiculous amount of kick up, which also in turn gives you quite a bit of fallout. So I like to use these shadows before I do my foundation. Usually I'm a foundation girl and then I go in and do my eyeshadow. Today I did the opposite. I started with my eyeshadow finish up with my face. You guys will see that in the demo. So really quickly, I'm just going to run through the list of pros and cons as my thoughts sort of stand. I'll give you a little wrap up, then we can move into some swatches, and then we can move into the demo. So pros, they're pigmented, they're incredibly blendable, and they're so soft and buttery. As far as cons go, this is ridiculously expensive. I know when you break it down in ounceage and in you know how much money per shadow it comes out to be not that bad, but dropping 50 bucks on an eyeshadow palette at once can be difficult, especially with her more expensive palettes. It can be difficult to just drop 48 bucks on five eyeshadows at once. The shade range isn't the best, I don't mind it, but keep in mind that she does have a bunch of other versions of the 
this palette so if you don't like this shade range she has more that you can choose from the kick up is sort of annoying the fallout is sort of annoying I'm not gonna lie I don't love that there's only one matte but again that's just personal preference and I would classify the packaging as a con as well so do I recommend this do I think it's worth the money I don't know if I would recommend <sighs> I'm glad that I started out with the five pan because it's a lot of money to drop, like $240 on a single eyeshadow palette. But if you do the cost breakdown as far as ounces go, the big 28 palettes are more worth your money. Well, this is 109 bucks plus per ounce. It is $96.76 per ounce in the big 28 pan palettes. So the big palettes are cheaper as far as ounces go. But if I were to purchase more Natasha Denona eyeshadows, I think I would save up for one of those more expensive palettes. Maybe not one of the $200 ones. She sells a couple of like, like $100 ones and stuff because those are more worth your money for the amount of product that you get, if that makes sense. Plus, if you buy a big one, you have more shades to choose from. So that's really everything that I have to say about this palette. If you want to see how these eyeshadows swatch with my finger as well as a brush, then let's go ahead and get started with that. super quick how I got this eye look. I don't really show you anything else, just my eyeballs, but I will list the products that are on the rest of my face in the description box down below if you are curious as to what I'm wearing.
enjoyed it, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time. And you can purchase this on Sephora.com, Beautylish, Natasha Donato. What? I like this lip color, but as I talk, it gets all, all up in my business, in the corners of my mouth, yo.